I've always really enjoyed watching fires and the behavior of fire. It's like transparent, it has these edges and it does crazy things. Um, I don't light fires unnecessarily. <laughs> Growing up, I picked up the violin in the second grade orchestra and played it through high school and then put it away for 20 years and then I felt like with this project it was really important for me to assess my own relationship with an instrument I was about to destroy. The act of destroying something um, I think can be meaningful and also to find new meaning in um, what, what potentially we have to lose. References to fire and also the violin as an object have recurred in thematically in my work, but not as the focus, but sort of been a reference for other things. And in this project, it all came together. I knew when I started this project and I was collecting the violins to burn them that I needed to relearn to play the violin. I'd spent a year collecting the instruments and there was a short window of time after I'd collected them before I did the burn. And also there was so much going into setting it up. Once everything settled down and lit it, it was almost a moment of calm just to sit and watch and listen to the pops and the cracks. Um, like a campfire, but with so much more significance. Forcing myself to slow down and look closely and pay attention is what I take away from it.